Hey everyone, welcome back to the Visually Stunning Movie Podcast. I am Mark. That is Ryan over there. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Uh, so this is uh, an interesting week. There's a few movies out. We're going to talk about two of them. There's a highly anticipated TV series premiering this week that we're going to talk about at the end. Uh, and I think that's going to be the most interesting conversation we have. Uh, but for, let's start. Let's start with the movies. Uh, okay. From, uh, I believe this is A24, isn't it? Yes, it is. Problemista. Yes, it is. Problemista. Um, okay, here is something that would, it, it can be a red flag. Written, directed, and starring Julio Torres. Uh, that is a triple threat that a lot of actors slash directors slash writers do not want to take on. Um However, it, 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 I believe it's Julio Torres' first movie, uh, his first directorial effort. Um, and he plays uh, Alejandro, an aspiring toy designer from El Salvador who comes to New York. Uh, but he has really weird toy designs. Uh, yeah. And he's having, trouble, he's having trouble getting any toy company to take them and or hire him because he needs a work visa. But he loses his job in a cryogenics facility, uh, and so he's losing his his sponsor. So he has 30 days to find a new job that will sponsor him so he can stay in the country and continue his dream of trying to create wackadoodle toys. Um, the big draw for me on this one, before we get into what we what we wind up thinking of it, is uh, it's got Tilda Swinton in it, um, who is great in basically everything she does. Uh, and she plays the wife of a client who is in the cryogenic facility. And she's a bit offbeat. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> he's, he's a toy guy, uh, an aspiring toy guy, uh, trying to get a work visa. So he's dealing with the immigration system. She is an art critic who's trying to handle her husband's art collection to keep him frozen so that eventually he might be revived and they can be together. Um, and all of the attendant disasters that come with that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of moving parts. You and I, we disagree on this one, but, but not a ton. Oh, probably. Um, I, I like it more than you did. Yeah. 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 Um, but, I even I admit that it it's it's flawed. Let's we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll start there. So how, how did what what are your impressions on this? I mean, you know, there's a it's a it's a young man who's raised in an environment where he's allowed to basically do whatever he wants artistically. Uh, he kind of grows up in the edge of a forest or something. Uh, and his, his kinda, mom is an artist. Yeah, and so she she allows him to. To, to design all sorts of crazy things and she builds them. And so he kind of comes from a world where he's been encouraged to think outside the box. Um, but he's also never had anyone to say mm, that's too far outside the box. Right. Um, particularly when it comes to his various toy designs. Um, he always wants to make things that are um, niche, I guess. Right? Uh, yeah. They're, 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 yeah, he he. They're niche toys. Yeah, I love the uh, the toy car with the flat tire. Yeah. So that children have to learn that not everything is perfect, and you have to deal with the hardships. Which is, I mean, that's the kind of stuff he comes up with, and that's actually, I think, one of the tamer ones. Yeah. That, that he does come up with. It's a little wackadoodle. Let's yeah. That way. But uh, you know, I, I wouldn't have mind if it's just that the story of him uh, and trying to get a visa. But then when you throw in the the whole cryogenic stuff, you throw in Tilda Swinton's story, which it could be a movie in itself. Um, you know, uh, there's at least three movies I think that you could pull out of this one film, um, and I think. <laughs> Really, he sh it's like this is a film where you don't think you're ever going to actually get to make another one. So you cram everything into this film. Yep. Because no one will ever give you financing again, I guess. I, I don't, you know, um, and, and I understand that. 
you know, I want to get all my ideas that are good and put them on one film and then, you know, hopefully come up with some more good ideas down the road. But um, I don't think it served the film as well as it could have. Uh, I, I wanted to him to dive into some of the situations more yeah. um, than he did. Um, I, I think it would be very interesting to see an offbeat comedy about someone trying to get uh, citizenship or a work visa or whatnot. I, you know, one that takes a, a rather bizarre individual who, and, and takes them through that journey. Um, that to me sounds interesting, you know, and he could have still been the artist, the kid yeah. who wants to make toys. He get that, um, you know, also the cryogenics thing, artists, Tilda Swinton's uh, characters is, is an art critic who has lost a bit of credibility because he married uh, an artist who not anyone, what most people thought was a hack or it wasn't yeah. very good. And yet she was very positive about his art and she remains positive about his art um, in the face of, you know, no one wants to do shows because no one thinks it's any good. Right. Um, and, and so she's kind of lost standing among the art scene. Um, and so she's kind of a pariah herself. Um, and that's a movie that could be interesting. And, and I think that's the movie we maybe get the most of, um, because he's essentially, uh, you know, it's about her and a man who plays the assistant. Um, but yes, cramming all that stuff in there. Um, it's, it's a movie that I like on paper a lot more than I like in actuality. See, and I'm the opposite. I looked at this and I was like, I don't think I'll enjoy it. But I think the fact that it is so out there. And yeah, it, it's very busy, but I think b- because I think all of the pieces are blown so far out of proportion that that appeals to me in a way that it, that it won't appeal to everyone. So like I said, it, 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 it is flawed, but I, what I, what's here is I, is I really do like it and I liked it way more than I thought I would just looking at it on paper. So yeah, we're, we're, you know, flips on that, but it, it, it's good. It's interesting. It makes some good points. And I, I accept the argument that there's too much for some of these points to actually be fully explored, but because it, you know, yeah, you're, you know, it, it criticizes, it, it, it criticizes immigration art criticism banking uh, yeah. you know because there's a the beautiful stuff, there's yeah. a beautiful tangent on banking which was awesome yeah. uh but yeah but it but everything is blown all the way up uh and and for some reason that just appealed to me so i came out of that you know i i enjoyed that way more than i thought i was going to uh but it's not for everyone it's you know it, you you have to have a certain sensibility to get any of it or to appreciate any of it but I guess I got, I, 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 I just have the, the, I don't know, the mental deviance to, to get enough of all of it to where I enjoyed it more. Yeah. I mean, my, my only thing, I mean, obviously if, you know, that I, I saw value in it because I wanted to see the other things, the other, the other asked, you know, so it yeah. wasn't like I didn't enjoy anything. It's just, I didn't feel like I got enough of anything. Right. Um, and so what's there, you know, is, is it's by no means a bad movie. Um, and yeah. I do think it's kind of a, a fun little film, but I, I think that it could have been better. Yeah, and, I'd be interested and, to see yeah. what he gets to do next. Well, and he could have done two. Well, and, but again, he's probably thinking there's no way they're going to let me do two films with this character. Right. Um, but, you know, it would have been interesting maybe to... to spread this out a little bit and make it two films um that follow this journey i don't know uh, yeah. but but it's fine it's fine yeah but uh yeah so you know easy written directed starring julio torres with tilda swinton and some other characters but it's yeah it so it comes out this friday that'll be the 22nd of march if you're keeping track at home 